Hey guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps Workshop. I have something new here on the bench today. Another cool frame just came out and it's by some friends of ours over at a website called fu-rc.com. You can check them out on the link below. I have the frame only kit of the core carbon fiber composite quadcopter here uh, for FPV racing and freestyle. Uh, this is a very interesting frame to me, mainly because it's completely different than anything else I've seen. So um, I'm very interested to open the box for you and show you what this one's all about. It's going to be a really interesting build for me. Um, I already started the build previously and I had some issues with a 4-in-1 ESC that went out on me. So I have to start all over and uh, I'm going to get a new one soon, I promise, and uh, hopefully I can show you some flight footage. But what I really want to do right now is go ahead and open up the box. Well, I was pretty impressed with the box and the packaging and everything. Uh, they spent a little bit of money getting this box to look nice for us. But the nicest part is inside the box. Check this out. This is probably one of the coolest looking frames for 2017 I've seen yet. This is really, really nice. There's a nice thick strap on the bottom. It goes right underneath this carbon plate here. Uh, and the, the frame itself, it looks like it's uh, a few different pieces and I'll take it apart for you. And what I'm gonna run on here are these 2205, 2400 kV Lumineer motors. And I've got a few different flight controllers I'm thinking about putting in here, but space is gonna be limited inside here. So if you're thinking about building one of these, think about maybe a 401 ESC um, and, and try to keep your stack as short as possible and maybe even getting a receiver in here that's going to be a little smaller size receiver. I think FR Sky just released some newer smaller receivers that uh, you could probably mount inside here but you can also put ESCs up inside the arms here because this bottom plate does come off but the camera itself inside here it's tiltable from around 35 degrees to 65 degrees so you have plenty of tilt inside here and it looks like there's decent protection for the camera inside here as well it's recessed back from the front plates so it should prove quite durable so let's take a little closer look at the frame now we'll take the top off and show you the inside the way this lays out this this top is really really nice by the way look how polished this carbon fiber is this is super high quality carbon fiber this was actually made and produced in taiwan so most of the stuff coming out of taiwan is a little higher grade let's see let's take the very top off here and this camera mount is actually kind of a hard industrial plastic and it doesn't really need to be uh, metal inside here so that's the way the camera mounts and then you can tilt your camera depending on which angle of degree you want uh, I have mine close to 60 so I have my motor wires running down the arms and they come out here if you're going to use that 4-in-1 ESC you'll need some longer motor wires uh, or you'll need to extend them I'll flip it over and show you the bottom I'm just going to remove this strap real quick so now that strap is gone, I can go ahead and remove this bottom plate. And this is pretty much to secure the very bottom of the frame and cover up the ESCs here if you have ESCs inside the arm. But there's plenty of space inside these arms to have some ESCs hiding in here if you want to. Uh, you can put some soft dampening inside there to keep them nice and safe from bouncing around if you want to put some foam in there uh, or some VHB to kind of hold it up against the side of the frame but look at the very bottom of the motor mounts the way those look let's look at the quality of that real quick it's a really nice mold on there and they have some decals on the very front this is the front of the quad where it says corerc.com it's a really neat looking quad now one one gripe I have about this frame so far is that this little um, insert right here fell out. Um, so I'm going to have to glue that back in myself. But there is, a, there is a lip on the very bottom of it here. You can see that lip. So if I put it back in there with a little bit of CA, it'll hold it in place. I'm just imagining that it just fell out um, because it wasn't properly glued. But the wires from the motors tuck neatly down inside here and from this angle here you can see that and they weren't too hard to snake down through here it's actually pretty easy to put the motors on now here's another angle I just wanted to show you another view of the arm a little closer up in the design on the arm 
and it looks like it's pretty skinny right here that's probably my only spot that I would be worried about breaking if I was going to be critical about this frame um, because the the carbon fiber itself looks to be about three millimeter in thickness underneath here all the way around but it is very very interesting the way they've designed this look at this flat profile really really exciting frame design it's interesting they also have another one on their website called the hoodlum you should really check that one out um, that one's that one also looks super low profile but I like the way that this looks all together here um, very very complete and it looks like it hides the hardware really nice I'll put that camera back in there so you can see that camera view one more time that's the run cam swift 2 and the titanium hardware just four bolts hold that top on so the top's pretty easy to remove so I think maintenance on this will be pretty easy but what an awesome looking quad there's a side view of it and the rear view from the other side and from the front but that's about it for the core RC this is the uh, frame only kit and I'm not totally sure what the price is on their site I haven't been to the other resellers um, websites but you can check them out too hopefully someone in the United States is going to start carrying these uh, Luminaire get FPV if you're interested to carry these I would definitely check these guys out they have some super innovative looking frames for 2017 thanks again for watching the drone camps channel you guys I will see you on the next one